to elbow you. I got it. Nine years ago, after 9-11, I saw America being attacked. I said to my wife, America needs my help. I decided to become an American citizen. And on September 27, 2008, I took the oath of citizenship. And I swear to defend this nation and the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And we know who the domestic enemies are. Since then, I have a non-stop commitment to help protect our liberties. I have a job to do as a new American, to defend my country against tyranny and oppression. Obama's policies are policies to oppress the individual liberty and tyranny against economic freedom. Mr. President, I know who you are. I know your socialist philosophy. I know your Marxist liberation theology. And I know your plan for our liberties and freedoms. But we, the American people, we will never surrender to your philosophy. <laughs> Mr. Barack Obama, take off the mask and tell the American people that your plan is to replace life with life control. Liberty with few liberties and pursuit of happiness with a pursuit of a government handout. Mr. President, you have gone places and you have bowed to kings and other leaders. The American people do not bow to anyone. You want to put down the American spirit. You want us to beg down on our knees for our liberties and freedoms by destroying our liberties and our constitution. But we, the American people, will never surrender to you or anyone. We only go on our knees when we pray to God. <laughs> Mr. Obama, I came to America to make it on my own and not to be a burden on the country, the government, or the American people. I came here to produce and not to take away. I came here to help and be part of this nation. I came here to live free, free from big government, free from socialist government, free from the oppression of politicians like you, Harry Rio, Nazi Pelosi. But I am here because I am fighting back. I want to remain free and never to surrender to you or to your regime because I am an American freedom fighter. As our founding fathers fought the British Red Coat, today we have a job. Our job is to fight the socialist Red Coats in Washington who want the transformation of America to make a socialist a socialist country dependent society and also a government controlled society. Mr. President, I am an American, not a victim or a minority. Mr. President, I am an American, not a Latino or Hispanic. I am an American, not your government intended servant. Mr. President, I am an American. My name is Tito Muñoz. I was born in Colombia, but I was made in the USA. God bless you, God bless you, my country. God bless our liberties, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Tito Muñoz. That is